folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' a Country. As always, I'm doing a gift request today. Farm Daddy, aka Robert. Shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for this gift and for this request. And I'm glad that you're back in action after some of your uh, health scares so uh, or issues. Let's call them that. So I'm hoping that, of course, you recover fully. So I am doing a tribute, and I'm going to read what you wrote to me, but this is Brooks and Dunn's This is Where the Cowboy Rides Away, and this is what Robert wrote. I'm just going to read it, Robert. Hi, Don. This link is the exact one I would like you to use. It has 13 million views. It has a little comical notation at the very beginning. This was performed at the ACM Tribute to George Strait's Artist of the Decade Award for the 2000s. Many, many stars performed that evening, of course, right, for George Strait. This is my all-time favorite King George song, rated if you so desire, even though it's a tribute. Thank you so kindly. And the fact that you called him King George, I think I know where you went with that vote. Well, who's the king? Who, who's the real King George, I think was the poll. Uh, George Strait or George Jones? And it came in as George Strait with about 50%, 37% came in as George Jones, and 13% were like, I'm not I can't even tell, or both. So anyway, uh, I'm getting into it. This is where the cowboy rides away. Because it is a tribute, though, I still won't rate it. That's just sort of my M.O. on this. So, same thing with patriotic songs. Here we go. Uh, we'll play George Strait records all night. Ronnie uh, actually chose the uh, song we're going to do tonight, but, but it's a favorite of both of ours. I ran into George in the hall, and he said, what are you singing? I said, uh, Cowboy Rides Away. He did something, and he kind of turned around back to me like, oh, yeah, don't mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> I love those things. The luminaries are out. I knew the stakes were high right from the start. When she dealt the cards, I did. I just found a game that I can't play. This is where the cowboy rides away. And my heart is singing like the sails. Ronnie and Kiss. You know you're a superstar when you can tell Brooks and Dunn, don't mess this up. I mean, seriously, I guess that's what Ars of the Decade will get you, the right to tell people like that, don't screw it up. Even though it was in jest, still, you got to have, you got to have street cred to do it. And George does. This is where the cowboy rides away. Ooh. And my heart is singing like the sad song. Sitting on the things I wish I'd known. 
Did he give, th give a thumbs up, George? Come on, man, let us know. Coming up, superstars Taylor Swift, Garth Brooks, and wow. Jamie Foxx, right here on wow. CBS. Wow. I mean, those are all, I mean, goodness gracious. Taylor Swift is there. Garth is there. I saw Tim and Faith were there. Uh, anyway, that was beautiful. I mean, I might rate this one. I'm not sure. Uh huh. You know, I think I will. Uh, yeah, because it's a different sort of tribute. So, man, I'm gonna come in with a nine point four, Robert. That was just. I mean, the way that song went. I mean, <laughs> this is where the cowboy rides away. It's just a breakup, but that final goodbye is the hardest one, and it is. It's seriously, I, I mean, I remember when I got divorced and we walked out of the courthouse. It wasn't like contentious at that point. And I was the one who got left. But I was like, all right, fine. Look, I give up. You don't want to be married anymore. I get it. So I still remember we're walking. We, you know, we had to wait in the lobby for 20 minutes or a half hour for them to hand us each copies of the paperwork. And then as we're riding down the elevator together, <laughs> talk about awkward, but it wasn't, uh, yeah, it's awkward, you know? And then as we're walking out of the building down the sidewalk, just sort of like straight out of Hollywood, her car is in, she had parked her car in one spot, like to the right, and I had parked on a different street down to the left. And so we just sort of turned to each other. We just hugged one another and then turned our backs to one another and walked away. I couldn't even talk. I was still so choked up. Same thing for her. Because it was the end, you know, and we couldn't even say goodbye. That was, I couldn't talk, either could she, even though we both agreed this is the direction we're going in. Um, but that final goodbye, woo. Uh, so, yeah, and of course, Ronnie and Kicks, I mean, anything they perform is absolutely amazing. Their harmonies are, are ridiculous. And the fact that George was right there on the stage, basically, and went down and shook their hands when it was done. That's not common. Usually, like when you do a tribute, the artist is, you know, kind of further away. The the tribute, the one receiving the tribute, but that was gorgeous, Robert. So uh and I can understand why you said it's your favorite Brooks and Dunn song. So Believe is a very powerful one too, but this one is gorgeous. So there it is, folks. 9.4. I rated a tribute song because of the type of tribute it was. So Thanks again, Robert, a.k.a. Farm Daddy. I reversed it there. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.